very rarely am I lonely. Like the only times I felt lonely and sad are just because I was like processing the breakup. Of my That's the universe telling me to stop talking about that motherfucker. We're done. The story you're about to hear is true. Only the name have been changed. so crazy right now it's the middle of the night i ran out of retinol which is a nightmare mm. it was nice to visit evergreen i definitely miss it up there but i prefer it down here i mean it's just so far away from everything but the air so fresh views so beautiful storm has a lot of fun up there i needed like a day or so to decompress i've just been so busy and have so many projects under my belt oh, Jesus. this week is a lot a lot a lot a lot of baking the next three weeks every weekend is either a very large event or a wedding which is nice because like the weeks are a little bit more open so I can like spend some quality time with Storm but at the same time it's not any easier. It's almost easier having orders during the week that are smaller orders than the large orders on the weekend because I need to literally start prepping for them on Wednesday if they're on Saturday and I have my son Monday through Friday. So it's like more work and it's also stressful because the large events are not just like a family or like two people enjoying like a little cake that I know I'm good at. The large events, have to satisfy over like <coughs> over like six dozen people who all have different preferences which like it's good there's variety in the treats i'm making for those events but that's scary but i've never had a bad review yet oh oh <laughs> well good night i'll see you tomorrow while i'm baking like a maniac I meant to film in this mode looks a lot better so just pretend that I did if you need a trick to ensure that you fold all of the laundry especially if you're a parent we have double the laundry if not triple or quadruple depending on how many crotch goblins you squirt it out then dump all of it on the bed because then you can't lay down and relax until you get your shit done <sighs> Good morning! It has been a hectic one already so far. Hectic in the best way. Last night was the pink moon. You already know my journal manifestations were like four pages long. And I don't know if this works the way birthday wishes work. Like you're not supposed to say anything or it's gonna like ruin it. But they worked because I woke up to four more orders. I'm getting deposits left and right. Like thank you universe. The, the universe has been so good to me like i've never been this spiritual in my life and truly like if you are feeding your soul if you're being productive if you're being healthy if you're surrendering to like life's atmosphere in a way um the universe will return that positive energy to you and karma is so so real so before you start wronging a bunch of bitches maybe think about how that's just going to come back at you threefold speaking of folding this needs to get done at some point today not doing it right now i'm going to get dressed I invoiced this morning, left the butter out to come to room temperature. I have a pop-up event this coming Friday. Also, Mother's Day is rapidly approaching. I'm almost fully booked for that weekend. If you do want to pick something up for Mother's Day, please place your order this week. It will like be closed at that point. Otherwise, I'm going to have to charge you a rush order fee because that means mama's not going to have to sleep on Saturday night. And I have a wedding I'm catering that day. So don't hold your breath on that unless you order right as you're seeing this. You can go ahead and check out my website. It has my uh, Mother's Day like specialty menu on there.
invoiced, left out the butter. I need to type up a brief review of the notes um, that I took during my prenatal check-in with my pregnant client. I'm gonna send those her way because she has a doctor's checkup soon and then I'm gonna send her like a little rough draft of the birth plan that we crafted together. I gotta get that typed up today, get it sent over to her backup doula as well as her. Um, it's super, super, super important as a business owner, not even just a doula, but just in general that everything is well documented. That's another little advice to give you. The last few videos I've been giving like small business advice, but yeah, take notes, add dates, add times. Make sure everything's documented. It'll save your ass for tax purposes. It'll save your ass for legal issues. Also, register yourself as an LLC. Being a sole proprietor, that is a sketchy, sketchy way to run your business. You wanna be a limited liability company. Trust me, trust me and get a CPA. Do not try doing your taxes by yourself. Big mistake, big mistake. This has to get folded at some point today, but it's not gonna happen right now, but I need to get dressed. I need to go ingredient and supply shopping because it is never ending. That is the glorious part of having a custom order based business. I don't just have four flavors guys. Probably remember the math we used to do in school where it was like, how many variations of this formula are there? Like given my flavor list, my filling list and my buttercream list, the flavors are infinite. So due to that, yeah, I shop about every other day and you know what? It is what it is. I'm not complaining. I love to grocery shop. I love spending time alone and I love spending time with my son and this business like gives me both of those options. So I'm happy. All right, let's get dressed. Oh my gosh. I did want to say something. I mentioned a few vlogs ago during that like big thrift try on haul that I was going to be thrifting every Saturday and that it was like a new hobby of mine. I have not given up on that hobby. That is still happening. The only reason I haven't gone the last two weeks is because we are going to ThriftCon this weekend. I was saving up my money because it's like a huge vintage shop, like a thrifting event. I wanna be able to spend a buck, like, you know what I mean? So I am going on the second day because unfortunately I can't go the first day. I'm sure like all the good shit is gonna be gone on the first day. But you know, I'm going for the experience. I have a good eye for this shit. So I think I'll be able to find some stuff I like. And um, it just wasn't doable to go day number one because I have an event that I'm catering. So like, that's not happening. The cleanse, the cleanse we've been talking about might be coming to an end. I know, I know. Initially I had set a specific date before I would start like fucking or like seeing anyone again. But even in my most recent journal sessions, I'm definitely not looking for anyone. Um, I don't believe in dating apps. I think I should make an entire video on that because I feel very passionately about like uh, not being on one of those. I'm not closed off to like opportunities with men, women, they, them, anyone who really comes my way at this point, I'm feeling pretty good and open to it. I love like the high quality videos I've been doing the last two videos. However, it's like really showing my flaws. And I told you guys last night and ran out of retinol. If I don't get some retinol this week, these wrinkles are just like, they're gonna be absolutely off the charts. Uh, the men's cleanse may be ending. I may or may not be doing something on Sunday with a man. I'm also nowhere near ready or like even wanting a committed relationship. But I'm so open right now to connections. Obviously, as you guys have seen, I've been networking a lot, uh, building my business and making money is my main priority right now. I'm gonna buy a house for my son and I. We're gonna be comfortable. I'm not gonna have to annoy his dad to give me money that he doesn't fucking give me anyway. We're girl bossing it to the stars, babe. Someone told me last night that they thought I was an extrovert because I like put all of my business out on the internet without anyone asking. And like, you know what, fair assumption, but if you look at it from like my point of view, when do I ever have guests on here? Maybe rarely. It's a rarity because I am honestly fine alone. Um, it's hard enough as it is to like make new friendships as an adult, especially for somebody who is self-employed. I don't have coworkers, you know, like my clients. It's very important to keep like that connection at a professional level. So, um, yeah, one, I just don't have very many new connections and the friends I do have, I have a very small circle, but we are very, very close. Like oversharing doesn't exist with them. I would love to cultivate some new friendships. That's actually some stuff that I've been journaling about recently, which is why I'm open to like, whenever anyone's asking me to hang out, um, I'm very open to spontaneity lately. I am a control freak and planner, and that is an aspect that's very amazing. It keeps me motivated and driven in my business life, but 
it can kind of hold me back in my personal endeavors and I don't want to do that to myself anymore so yeah I'm becoming more social. I'm not an extrovert. I'm very much so introverted. I love living alone. I love spending time alone. Very rarely am I lonely. Like the only times I felt lonely and sad are just because I was like processing the breakup. Of my That's the universe telling me to stop talking about that motherfucker. We're done. I'm just gonna wear sweatpants today. I'm excited about it. There is this very attractive, oh, I'm gonna sound like a stalker. There's this attractive person at like not the nearest target to me, but the one like a little bit further south. And I'm kind of tempted to go there just to see if I see that person again. Cause you know what? No, is that crazy? At the same time, like the tips you do hear from people who socialize a lot is to like frequent somewhere. But I don't know, frequenting a Target is a little wild. Also, let's shoot higher, babe. Like tar a Target employee, I do love that because a job is a job, it's a good job. I'm not judging them, but like a little bit different of a path than I'm on. love positivity love um but like i'm about to go full hrh collection sorry excuse me but what the fuck is the point of self-checkout if you still have to pay someone to be there to monitor self-checkout oh my god i had two transactions because i had to get groceries and then i also had to do like business purchases every freaking time it's like there's still items in the cart there's still items in the cart bitch i know what i know there's two fucking transactions happening I'm not the only person on the planet who has two fucking transactions. And then girly pop has to keep coming up to me and like reviewing the video. And then God forbid I put free chopsticks for my sushi in the bag. Nope. Nope. The computer has to freak the fuck out and be like, thief, thief. Oh my God. Leave me alone. Um, it's 1.30 p.m. and I have yet to eat any food. So I think that's why I'm a cranky bitch. Just to be clear, I'm not mad that the people at King Supers are doing their job. Like, it is not the employee's fault. But like, I'm just gonna go through the regular fucking checkout line because self-checkout is supposed to be like easy and convenient and it's literally not easy and convenient. What happened to self? I don't feel like myself. I don't feel like I'm doing it by myself when I'm doing self-checkout. Jesus. Why you gotta do me like that? Also, King Supers is a union. Like, can you employ people? Like, it's kind of my favorite part of grocery. No, it's not. I'm an introvert. But, like, a cool part of grocery shopping is, like, the cute little people that they have at checkout that, like, bag your groceries. You know what? I'm just gonna have to start going back to Trader Joe's. I haven't done a Trader Joe's haul in a while because I haven't been able to get there in a while. Okay. Bye. We'll talk later. I just got Storm down for his nap. I'm gonna move my car because it's not nice to park in front of the building when I literally have a parking pass, but I had a ton of groceries. Sometimes it's easier to do that. So my mom is upstairs taking a little nap with him. I'm gonna move my car and we are prepping not only for my pop-up event, but also not even the only order I told you about this morning. I now got another order in for the weekend. So it's a busy one. But mama is making money, that's what matters.
basically determined that if I'm not vlogging while I'm doing this massive bake sesh, you guys are not gonna have very much content. because I perfected all of these recipes when I lived at a higher altitude with a completely different oven. If you're just starting out baking, you need to do a lot of testing before selling your products because baking is a science, which is one thing I absolutely love about it. Like for example, the pounds of butter and sugar used in like my buttercream recipes made it really easy for me to make like a huge batch and then weigh out specific batches for how many pounds I would need per cake, per cookie sandwich, etc. That's another big tip, weigh your food. I feel like it's so much more accurate than like cups, tablespoons, like uh, Americans have it so wrong. Get a food scale, it's so helpful. clients are obviously my number one priority so it's so important to me like I said that I'm following my state's guidelines so if you're thinking about starting a business look into what your state requires I started this business in Arizona and it was super similar to the rules here I'm pretty sure it was the same I'm not sure if you need a certification in every state but in Colorado you definitely do. I should get some indoor shoes with good support because I have back problems probably due to all of this. Baking is a very physical job, by the way. But since I don't wear shoes in my apartment, one, it keeps it really clean. Again, the importance of my clients, not only do I have my doula clients over to my house, but I also am baking constantly. I hate the feeling of things on my feet. So like sprinkles, crumbs, literally any little thing. It's the reason I sweep like five times a day. This is so creamy, so fluffy, so luscious. Holy shit. I'm so excited. See that perfect green color? That's culinary matcha, baby. It 
it's actually so wild to me that I lost like 60 pounds while having this business. Like that's crazy. <gasps> Well, guess what I made you? You gotta take your shoes off first and you get a cookie. Okay. Go take your shoes off. Get out of my kitchen, please. We can't be in the kitchen while mommy's working. Can we go to the park? Look at how green this matcha cake is. Can I, can I please have a cookie? Yes, you may. Let me grab it for you. Thank you for staying out of my kitchen. No, no, storm. Here, you gotta stay out, buddy, because this is a cake that can't be sitting out long. It needs to go in the oven right away. Okay, let's sit over here for a minute. You have your cookie over here. entire day of baking yesterday that I did not film. Couldn't do it. Could not do it. I had to make royal icing. I had made cookie dough batter two days ago or cookie dough. Hello. I'm so freaking tired. I got eight hours of sleep though. Oh my God. Exciting. Exciting. I went to bed at 1.30. Woke up at 9.30. But now I have less than two hours to decorate a cake. And it's like kind of complex, but I think it'll be fine. So I need to get into that right now. Um, I think for the next several weeks, I'm going to have to be uploading my weekly vlogs on Tuesdays. That's the new upload day as of right now because I'm fully booked for the next several weekends. And it's just unmanageable to have it edited and scheduled by Sunday evening in the case that I am working this much. So I will see you guys every Tuesday morning. And also it'll be 10 a.m. Mountain Time, by the way. Um, I'll let my Instagram know as well. So yeah, let's get into it. Do you have any specific commentary? How are you feeling that your oldest daughter's getting married? I'm excited. That's so good. Yes. Yeah. And this bird's really fun. And you know, I'm gonna enjoy every minute. That's so good. <laughs> How are you feeling that 49% of marriages end in divorce? I'm, well, I'm hoping mine doesn't. Well, that's a good perspective. <laughs> good looking. I said, how is she feeling that 49% of marriages end in divorce? Oh. And she said, I'm hoping mine doesn't. And I said, that's a really good perspective. Yes. Because you never know. I have no idea why. You're jumping off the cliff. <laughs> you don't have to eat anything like that. Anything big. Yeah. Like getting married, having a baby, you know, all yeah. that. Oh, the dig. The yeah. dig at me. <laughs> I'm going to change the wedding colors if you get that. Yes. Why don't you just try it on? Yeah, you should like try it. Water pail if you go with it, if you don't, I think 
I am choosing the last and final clip. It'll be amazing. And isn't the photography, the videography just perfect? Yes. <laughs> there were some up at the top that were kind of maybes, but they were towards the beginning. Okay. This is kind of cute. It has been an eventful few days. Not only did I drop part of an order, which has been my worst nightmare ever since I started my business three years ago. Thank fucking God I had leftovers for my event last night because I was able to just comp that on her invoice and like still give her enough servings, but not exactly what she wanted, but she was so fucking chill and so nice about it. Oh my God. Anyway, then it was my sister's bridal try on, which was really fun. And now I'm fucking stuck in traffic and I'm getting road rage. I hate driving. Like I understand driving's a privilege. Okay, I'm about to complain for the next minute and a half about things that obviously I have the privilege of doing. If that's gonna bother you, bye babe. Um, anyway, the guy, the guy, that guy who was supposed to take me out, yeah, he like canceled. And I'm actually relieved because I have a really fucking busy weekend. And as you guys know, the weekend is the only time I have to not be in mom mode. And speaking of which, I'm on my way to an event right now that's an early birthday celebration for my son on his dad's side and they wanted me to come and I don't even have to go, but like, because my son is involved, I feel the obligation to go. So instead of resting, I'm going to do that. And I'm just, uh, the road rage is so real and so bad and I'm in my luteal phase and I've eaten like 7 million calories this week. I went to ThriftCon today for a few hours, not even a few, for like an hour and a half or two hours just because I had baking to do. Shocker. But I wanted to try, try this stuff on. So let's try it on. I guess I should get my microphone. Hang on. I'm ill prepared, you guys. This first little thing, these are Jorts Levi's. Um, I don't know if they're going to fit. I didn't try anything on. I spent $108, by the way. They do fit and they're a little bit baggy. I'm also in my luteal phase, so I will lose between like three and five pounds during ovulation. So these will be really cute and baggy and I'll be able to wear my little whale tail panties and it'll be a cute moment. It'll be cute. Oh, and they're so comfortable. I'm going to do an actual try on video, I think. This is just going to be super casual and short. I love it. This shirt is so cute. Vintage Old Navy with some Levi Jorts. Slay, slay. I just discovered Chapel Round and oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. These are Coogie. Googie. Googie. Coogie. Wait. Sick, dude. So fucking sick. Obviously, this is a men's size. I'm going to need them hemmed. Or, ooh, I could wear my platforms. And then maybe I don't have to hem these. I think they're going to fit my waist literally perfectly. Yep. And a slightly baggy look. Also, side note, besides my ex-husband, who's a fucking giant, I have like a bigger, I'm just like a bigger size than most of the people I've been with. Like, I don't think I would have been able to put on like my ex-boyfriend's jeans, you know? So it's loose. They're baggy. But we can work with this. This is cute. I can wear heels and then I wouldn't have to worry too much about like hemming it. I kind of like the loose waist look. I mean, also these are for men. So there's like a little bit more going on around there near my little puss puss. Those are so cute. Are you kidding? I had to get them. I had to get them. Cute, cute. I think I would wear it with something different, like not these jorts. But I'm pleased that everything fits me. That's good. That's satisfying. I like that. I am so unbelievably tired. I don't even know how to describe it. So goodbye. So long. Farewell. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye. Give up.